I'm an outlaw. Like, I've done my whole thing my whole, my whole life. The Chaos is just, uh, I want to say it's like a a huge ass family, kind of like a traveling circus. He was just, a, you know, he's a wild card. You know, John's a wild card. He's a hundred miles a minute, and uh, and I'm a hundred miles a minute. I My name is Alan Mittendorf, driver of the American Outlaw, and this is underneath the flop top. Um, so, you know, my background is motocross, supercross. Um, after I quit, I went to a, uh, a national event, seen a funny car run, and it was hooked. You know, I'm a, I'm a adrenaline junkie. I've raced dirt bikes, jet skis, I've snowboarded, wakeboarded, you know, I've done it all, but there's nothing like the rush you know, of a nitro funny car. It throws you in the trunk, takes off like a rocket, and just hauls ass. It's, it's no comparison to anything I've ever done. I've done some pretty crazy shit. I mean, flying through the air, 150 foot long, 30 foot in the air. You know, just, that's a blast. But there's nothing like driving a fuel funny car. I mean, there's nothing close. If anybody says that, you know, people say getting shot out of a cannon, yeah, it feels like that, but it's nothing like it. It's just an animal. Uh, we did a race in 2018, one chaos. In 2019, I decided I was going to run for the championship. So we only we had to miss. I think we missed three or four races, which I thought there's no way in hell that I was going to be able to compete. But we kept going to a race, and we'd break our own speed record. We'd break our own elapsed time record. We qualified number one, and it just kept happening and happening. You know, when we want to go after a record, we break our old record just by enough that we knew we could break it and then go break it again and again and again. And it just kept happening. And uh, we got to Martin, Michigan, and we went there and it was like the perfect storm. record speed and ET twice. We qualified number one, we won the race. We're going into Denton, Texas, and we're only like 18 points behind. So we go to Denton, it happens all again. We qualify number one. We qualify number one, we break our own records again. It's Q3, I had to go set my record again. The car was moving around on me a lot. We broke the record. We had a shoot issue and I put it in the sand. Um, 
it's unfortunate, but I, I believe we lost the championship only by like eight or nine points, which is kind of insane for skipping. I believe it was a minimum of four races. It could have been a few more, but I know it was at least four races. So that being my first year in chaos, getting to know all the drivers, competitors, tracks. I mean, we went to some big, big, you know, quarter mile tracks. We went to small eighth mile tracks in little hometowns that were badass and fun. But uh, that was uh, my first year as an owner driver. First time ever running for a championship. And it was uh, great to do it in chaos. Um, it was a learning experience and I had a lot of highs and a lot of lows. And sometimes, uh, you know, you just, uh, you're going through the process and you, uh, you're just thinking about it. You know, you have your high points, your low points, but you just gotta put it behind you and keep just hammering that throttle and just keep it hammering and go, go, go. And just keep rocking and rolling. I mean, you just can't let stuff get in your head and, and that things happen. It's fuel racing. What are you gonna do? You know, the, we're going to my first national event in St. Louis, Missouri. My, um, one of my favorite cars, and, you know, is John Force. Plenty car chaos. You know, people, uh, you know, John Force, John Force, you know, but blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I mean, I, I look at it as, uh, I kind of look at it as him like me in a sense. As I was just a guy that I didn't have really much. I, you know, I started in business on my own, but, he was just, a, you know, he's a wild card. You know, John's a wild card. He's 100 miles a minute, and uh, and I'm 100 miles a minute. I'm a, you know, just, he struck me as a guy that was, uh, he's genuine, and he's just wide open all over the place. And that's, it what drew me to him, and he, he loves the fans, he loves the people, he loves the sport, and uh, and I like all that the same. I mean, I love coming to a chaos, and I love the fans and the people. So Forrest was one of my, uh, guys that drew me in there and the other one was Gary Selzy I mean that the guy could drive he's hilarious you know uh, kind of a tell it how it is guy and then you know uh, I seen him in an elevator one time and he had the whole elevator cracking up I don't know what he was saying but I was like man that guy's damn funny he's crazy he's wild he talks a lot too and uh, he's a hell of a driver I mean a guy he was a wheel man for sure but uh, I always like listening to the Selzy says but uh, those are one of my two top guys. So I, obviously, I, I took a little uh, two-year hiatus because of, of business, but I, I came back here to Cordova. Uh, Cordova has got a little bit of a uh, memory for me uh, as a car owner driver the first time i uh, made some full pulls is court over here during the world series so this track's got some uh, special uh, part of me at, at this facility because this is where it all started um you know chaos uh you know from a fan standpoint 
Uh, you can come into any of these pit areas and people, the drivers, the crew will invite you and set you in a car. I mean, it's a, it's a down earth series. Anybody here will welcome you, no matter if you're a fan, a driver, uh, you know, spectator, fellow team member. The, the chaos is just, uh, I want to say it's like a, a huge ass family, kind of like a traveling circus, but people say that about other um, festivals in life, but I, I truly believe this is a traveling family. You know, everybody wants to win, go home with the check, the trophy and bragging rights, but everybody really cares about everybody. When I crashed in 2019, you know, Ken Singleton, a three-time champ, he was the first one in my trailer, him and his wife. They, I didn't even get my fire suit off, and then they were in the trailer. So, you know, getting back to chaos, it's, uh, it's a bit, you know, anybody who wants to own a funny car or come drive, this is the place. I mean, you can be competitive here with no matter the combination. You got a chance to win a race, you got a chance to win some money and a trophy. But chaos is, uh, has a deep part of me in me, just because, uh, you know, the first time I got to run for a championship ever in my life in a funny car was chaos. And they gave me the black on the and they gave me the and I'm on the You know, you know, we're here at Cordova, Illinois, right? Stands are packed. Fans are walking around. They're spending the harder money to get in the gate. And we're putting on a hell of a show. And this is just, uh, it's got deep roots in me. And, and I'll never probably go race anywhere else but chaos, you know? You never know, but I'm, I'm here. I like it, I love it, and I love the people. I love the fans. Uh, so, I mean, uh, you know, how I came up with it is I, I'm very uh, patriotic and I respect the flag, you know. I have a saying all the time, stop my, you know, disrespect my flag, stop my flag, I'll stop your ass. I mean, I, I respect that flag uh, deep, probably deeper more than people realize. It's not just a, a thing I put on my car. I, uh, I have a lot of respect for it. And, uh, and it just, it means a lot to me. A lot of people, we wouldn't have that flag today for a lot of people that sacrificed their life. So that's the one reason how the American and the flag became on my car. Secondly, I'm an outlaw. Like, I've done my whole thing my whole, my whole life. I just, I've always done what I want, when I wanted, no matter the consequences, kind of beat to my own drum. And I've done it my whole life, so. I believe I'm a true American outlaw. I have a cowboy hat, Wrangler wearing, belt buckle. I like guns. And uh, that, that's why American Outlaw is out here in front of Gun Chaos. Because I just, I'm an outlaw in this pit area, and I'm the American Outlaw rolling up and down the highway, and I have the American Outlaw back in Columbia, Illinois. I just do what I want, within reason.